Hey, what's happening YouTube? Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Now, if you follow my channel, you'll know that starting next week, our channel is gonna be changing a little bit. It's still gonna be a lot about travel and a lot about Carnival Cruise Lines, but we're also gonna be throwing in some current events as well, mostly travel related stuff. But today, we're gonna to do something completely different. If you happen to be in the Akron, Ohio area, please check out the Funny Stop Comedy Club in Cuyahoga Falls, just outside of Akron. We were there recently and we taped a young comic who's really funny. His name is Ryan Yex. So I wanted to share that video with you. And Ryan, I promise you I'd put this online. So here it is. There's no other way to do this, but he's great. One more time for my man, Mr. Ryan Yex. I had a middle seat, and 
the lady next to me fell asleep, and as she was sleeping, she did one of these, and her head touched my shoulder, and her hair touched my arm. So I guess you could say I'm in the third base. <laughs> I get a lot of attention when I'm out traveling, I travel a lot, and I get a lot of attention. Not all of it's good, not all of it's because of my good looks. This guy comes up to me and he goes, Hey man, I'm sorry, I feel really bad, I know how you feel. I broke my leg once and had to spend six weeks in a cast. Well, I'm sorry buddy, but a broken leg is pretty far off from how I feel. I know how you feel though. Before I started comedy, I had to spend six weeks working the fryer at McDonald's. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready to get the comedy show started? This is the meat of my comedy show right here. I want to become a great storyteller, like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Relax. He's the greatest storyteller of all time. Don't worry. No pills involved. Can't imagine how much fun I'll have if a bolt is laying there. <laughs> Sympathy for a minute. Actually, I have been getting laid a lot lately. Manually, though, with my hand. Hey, at least I can pick the girl, right? I have some. I don't know how to set up this joke other than just to do it. So I'm going to do it. I have some pickup lines. I'm going to do them for you. Gotta find. Gotta find the. Okay, there you are. Hey, baby. Just because I don't have my license doesn't mean I can't give you a ride. <laughs> I'll be your knight in shining walker. <laughs> you'll be my designated driver. When I look at you, my legs get weak. <laughs> now I need this walker. Got this weird text the other day. Tyler tells me that you want to lose your virginity. I'm making this my life mission to make sure this happens. What kind of girls are you into? Are there any fetishes that turn you on? Love, Grandma. <laughs> now again, my first initial thought was to delete the text and delete Grandma's number. But then I realized if Donald Trump can be president, Grandma can get delayed. <laughs> Got one more for you guys. To forget about my sad love life. I go to strip clubs. That guy knows what I'm talking about. I saw you there last Tuesday. <laughs> now you're gonna ask, Ryan, if you're not gonna be late now, then why the hell would you go to a strip club where you have to pay someone to not have sex with you? Easy. I have a walker. And they take one look at my big blue puppy dog eyes and my trusty walker, and it's a face full of free boobies. <laughs> All night long. <laughs> boobies, boobies, boobies. <laughs> and when I do that, I think I'm having some sort of seizure. <laughs> so that's when they take me in real close and hold me real tight to let me know everything's gonna be okay. I can't breathe, but it's worth it. <laughs> that's, that's it for me, everybody. I'm right next.